Hey everyone, welcome to the Game On Daily Saturday evening chat show. I am your host Gaz, co-owner of Game On Daily, and what a great show we have for you today. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's already feeling oh, good. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Um, I'm loving the energy and we have a great show for you today, as Sarah has clear, uh, clearly announced. Um, it's going to be a great one. If you're joining here for the first time, let me very, very quickly uh, explain what Game On Daily is about. The show is brought to you by GameOnDaily.com, which is the best in class news aggregation platform out there for gamers. So if you're a streamer, podcaster, or budding game journalist, we allow you to create the content on our site and share it in a very sexy looking user interface with no ads. How do we make money? I have no idea, um, <laughs> but it's going to be, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Check it out if you haven't registered already. It's really quick. Um, before we go on to our lovely guests, let me introduce uh, the co-host and co-owner of Game On Daily, the man who's making sure this runs butterly smooth all the whilst maintaining a lovely smile on his face. Asa Walker, how are you? Guys, I feel like death, but uh, obviously I'm really happy to be here and looking forward to, to a good show. You know, it's going to be a good one. Just down those newer offense. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, guys, keep it civil in the chat. We've got our mods. Keep an eye on you. But really, it's super chilled atmosphere. Um, and yeah, and we will try our best to read out all the super chats, uh, all of them. Um, but really if you want to suggest any topics do so this is your show as much as it is ours um the topic of today is women in gaming i've been wanting to do this for a while because many of us know that gaming really is a very male dominated kind of uh, medium it always has been things are changing as gaming becomes more and more popular which is really great we're finally seeing that joining us though are three veterans in the game they are content creators as well not just gamers and we thought why don't we get their thoughts on their experiences in the gaming space? It's a good conversation to have and get a fresh perspective on things um, and break the echo chamber of us guys. So they are leading the show. Sarah, you're just going to be the host now. Go ahead and deal with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, first of all, you're being too generous with the word veteran for me. I just started, but Seti and Miru has been doing this for quite a while. And well, <laughs> hi guys, my name is Sarah. And yeah, no, I'll, I'll let me do the intros for you, Sarah, because that was terrible. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Do it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> no, um, Sarah, wow. Sarah is a an actress in the Philippines. Uh, you may have seen her slap people around on shows. She's bored her eyes up playing The Last of Us. Um, and she is also a very, very hardcore fitness buff, putting me to shame in my gym workouts. <laughs> I've seen your Instagram. Everyone's uh, in, in the description below. You'll find the links to all of their uh, their channels. So make sure you do check that check them out. Sarah Carlos, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. No, so am I. And thank you for being here. It's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be a great show. I'm loving, <laughs> loving your banter. Next is someone from the Toe Gang, which I'm definitely gonna ask questions about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sadie Toe, not Sadie Toe. Yes. Toe. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Thank you. It's going to be a great show. Um, and I've uh, caught you on stream this morning playing Genshin Impact. Everyone is playing yeah. that. Um, yeah. that. It looks good. It looks good. Um, <laughs> but certainly not. Sadie. It's Miru Vance, who's also streamed, but not the Genshin Impact. I did see one of your streams. Miru, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> 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 this room is okay so with cute. two things, so yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, you okay? You're all good. Look, trust <laughs> me, it's going to be a sick show. It's going to be a sick one. Um, so we've talked, look, we're all gamers. What's the best way to get to know our guests is to talk about games, but more particularly, they, their history in gaming. I think I'm intrigued about your history in gaming. Um, so I'll go in the same order that I introduced people. Sarah, when did when was the first time you started playing? You said you said you're not a veteran, but when did you actually yeah. start playing video games? Well, I mean, if we're talking about when I started streaming, I just started uh, this year around May. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, if you head on over to my YouTube, I that uh, my ver the very first game I streamed was Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, 
So oh, wow. yeah, it was just something that I naturally gravitated towards because I was already in content creating and I was already online sharing my fitness journey. So and I really did enjoy playing video games on the side. So I figured, why not? But then the very the very first time I held a PlayStation controller was the PS One. And I remember I would I would use my uncle's PS1 without his permission because he wouldn't want to share it with me. <laughs> so yeah, I would play the PS1. Um, then I had my own PS2 growing up. What was but the first game on the PlayStation One though? What was the PlayStation? PlayStation One. I kind of vaguely remember playing Rugrats on the PlayStation <laughs> One. Yeah, like I was playing Rugrats, um, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Klonoa, like they were, I, they're they're very old names and very they're more on the cutesy side of games. Um, and then PlayStation Two was when I started playing um, more anime or Japanese role playing games. I pl- remember playing Inuyasha, uh, Final Fantasy, and then I kind of skipped the PS3 generation. That was when I was um, starting to work uh, in the. I guess marketing industry or showbiz industry, and then I got into the PS4. So that's that's how I started. How about you, Teddy? We don't need you. We don't need you. No. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I pretty much. Well, I have two much older siblings. Uh, I was an accident, and so um, when I was really young, my sisters already were playing. Uh, and um, yeah, I guess I I don't really remember, but I would say maybe like around five or so, I started playing Super Mario World and Street Fighter Two and stuff like that. Illusion of Gaia. Um, so yeah, I've pretty much been with it for as long as I can remember. That's cool. That's really cool. Miru, you're sitting there quietly. You have to tell us. <laughs> oh, I was waiting my turn. That's all. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Like the first game I remember playing when I was little, uh, I vaguely remember it. I think it was on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on like the Super yeah. Nintendo. Uh, it was like my cousin's favorite game, so I would watch and then sometimes I would join in. <clears throat> and then after that, like, I like begged my dad to like buy me a console, but I didn't get my first console to like the PlayStation. So I also tried out <laughs> Rograts. <laughs> Yeah, but in like uh, kitsy games like Dalmatians. <laughs> but but uh, but but I um because like my dad would um every time I would get like good grades in school like the honor roll, my dad would take me to the store to buy a game, and I would pick a game off like the cover. And then actually, I don't know if you guys have heard of Legend of Dragoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, I thought they looked so cool, and so um. Legend of Dragoon is like one of my favorite games ever now, just because like I binged it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Aww, that's so cute. That's cute. That that kind of is a good segue to ask the next the question: What is your favorite game or favorite franchise, um, Sarah? Okay. Um. Well, it de- it would depend because actually, I f- I would have to say that I feel like my taste has really matured and I think I have the gaming community to thank for that with how with their suggestion because right now I'm playing God of War uh, and I really really love it it's so fun and it's yeah. such a it's such a different take on what I used to play before because I still love this game but back then I really like Animal Crossing, Kingdom Hearts, yeah. um, Final Fantasy but now it's like I'm playing I, I'm in the Resident Evil pool I mean, I'm having fun with, yeah I know I saw your umbrella poster at the back I wanted to talk about it oh, but, <laughs> later on. but no I'm into Resident Evil right now and God of War which is really cool and but I guess I'd have to say my favorite is The Last of Us. I mean, if we're oh. talking about my current favorite, I really love The Last of Us. And maybe I'm a bit biased because I'm a daddy's girl, but I really bawled my eyes <laughs> out like that game. It's so, it's just so good. Like it I, does tug at your heartstrings that game, especially if you have uh, like, daddy. Super. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Not yes. Daddy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Can confirm. <laughs> Uh, SM, actually, thank you so much for the fifty pounds. Yeah. That. Uh, that's great. Um, sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Seti. Uh, um, yes. What is your favorite? Okay. I don't, sorry, Sarah, have you stopped? 
<laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Not saying that you're talking too much. Yeah, Sadie, your uh, well, game? yeah. I mean, I guess kind of. I mean, I have a huge nemesis in my background, and I have the umbrella thingy, and I have another nemesis, and then I have another nemesis in my backdrop. Um, no. so <laughs> I do really like uh, the Resident Evil franchise, but I also really like the Souls games. I think aesthetically they are just amazing, and I think you know, game design wise, they are. Absolutely, at the height of you know games and uh, totally beautiful. But then again, I would also have to say that um, you know Square and Final Fantasy in general is just a beautiful, beautiful franchise. So it's probably a tie between those three for me. Yeah, no, that, those are solid choices. Um, I love the fact that <laughs> sorry, Sarah, I love that Sarah went ah oh, as you're pointing at your nemesis. Like that. I, <laughs> That's so I cute. need to. He's cute. I need to apologize as he well because cute. the nemesis is kind of cut off on the stream. So our audience can't. Oh, the they can see that one. one. Yeah. They can see the plushie. Yeah, and the big one is. Oh my God. No way. That's so adorable. <laughs> Love it. I would have never. How about you, Miru? Adorable. But yeah, Miru. I don't need gas. <laughs> I'll be the host. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also a big fan of like a lot of the key Square Enix puts out. So at first I was like really obsessed with like Kingdom Hearts series um, and then Final Fantasy series came after. So it's really, really hard to like pick a favorite because I love a lot of them, <laughs> like a current mm -hmm. favorite. If I pick like an all time favorite since like the beginning, since I played games and I would say Legend of Dragoon. So I get really excited when somebody knows of that game. But yeah, overall, I just like the Kingdom Hearts series and like the Final Fantasy series. Specifically, uh, I was talking with Sarah about this earlier, Final Fantasy X was the first Final Fantasy. So I guess if I really had to pick, I would probably pick Final Fantasy. Actually, I would pick Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now that, because <laughs> that came out this year. They yeah. did a really good job with the remake, like I'm everything. Yeah. So actually- Mira, yeah. I think we were like in a couple compilations together because I recognize <laughs> your name. <laughs> Yeah, I saw some people I, I, would, I, would get like reactions and like put everyone at the same time. Yeah. I have a question for everyone. I mean, Gaz and Asa can uh, join in, but what was the very first, what was the very first game that you guys got, I guess you could say addicted to? Like you guys got hooked on it and like you forget to eat or forget to do your homework. Like, if, do you guys remember that? Yeah. <laughs> It's very so nice of you games, to invite man. us into the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's so know. nice of us to invite us. Great question. <laughs> it's a great question. Um, for me, it's more Combat 1. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that was my first game, incidentally, and also the game I got addicted to. Uh, by the way, just want to quick, before I lose this, this is a good chat. Uh, in Mostin Racer says, Gaz, gaming won't be male-dominated for long. We dads teach our daughters how to game, as you can see. Did your parents oh, yay! Now. No. My no, parents no, did okay. not teach me how to game. My, my parents don't understand what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> my parents don't understand what I'm doing. Because they'd be surprised when I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm getting so many views on my YouTube. And then they would think, oh, oh is it your makeup or is it your laptop? <laughs> no, it's my gaming. And then they would watch it and they would say, you anak, anak is like Tagalog for child. Anak, you curse too much. You should lower it. You should. <laughs> Yes. I've said he, I've seen you on stream. You, your parents must not tune in. I have a sense of bar there. No, they do. They do. I oh. mean, because I'm so crude. Yeah. Yeah, I know they do. That's so. What cool. about the like children? Like about the dads teaching their ch their daughters how to game. So my parents don't really game, but when my sisters were little and they played a lot of Super Mario, my parents did that one level where you can like level uh, lives like 99 times so that my sisters would have like a lot of lives but they didn't oh. understand that you have to save the game so they turned it off and lost everything <laughs> oh my goodness oh, cute though yeah. that they did that that's my cute, yeah <laughs> um, me, uh, and uh asa sorry we kind of brushed past it what's your first ever game this is a question no, I I see, i'm gonna i'm gonna answer the question more directly because i can't remember my first game first games would have been things like sonic 2 was probably the first one that made me pick up a controller but the first one that made me oh decide I'm never going to do a piece of homework was Final Fantasy 7, the original one. I Ooh. remember staying up many Mew, hours he's... trying to get the correct chocobo to, to get to various flavors. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the chocobo! Yeah. I remember that! Mm -hmm. 
played Final Fantasy VII. I should play it. <gasps> Miru, you surely you're gonna say Final Fantasy, aren't you, Miru? The game that got you hooked. The first game that got you addicted to gaming. I feel like I keep repeating this name a lot. Le Legend, Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> this is just Legend like, of Dragoon promotion it, it here. Like four days long, and it. I spent the longest time on it because, like, I was now really I small like I and I couldn't up. understand like some, what was going on sometimes. But like, <laughs> I still went through it, and I played it more than once. Uh, yeah, it was four days oh. long, so. Yeah. I kind of I'm I'm interested I'm interested in that game now because of Miro. Yeah, sure. totally. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm How about you, Sadie? Yeah, you haven't said one. Uh if, well, the last I, I well <laughs> if I go back way back, the one that I remember is maybe like either Pokemon or like Harvest Moon. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh yeah, that is a good one. Two games that me and Ace are just like, yeah, okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next question. Betty, uh, I, mean, I mean, I've watched your stream and you have your crew is called Toe Gang. Now, can you yeah. just kind of under explain that to me? Because when Toe sounds something like feet and feet and internet just brings weird things up. What is foot fetish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're not a group of people with foot fetishes. Yeah. Um, exclusively, well, we you, you can be because we don't kink shame. But um, so the gag is kind of that my name is Sadie To. Uh, so Sadie is my first name and To is actually my last name because when I first started with Twitch, I didn't know that you have that like, most people kind of like have an uh, alias. I just thought you'd pick your real name, and so I went with my real name. And at one point, people. You know, people will always call me Sadie too, and I was like, no, it's Toe. And um, at one point, people call started calling me Sad Toe, like a sad toe. <laughs> so it became the Toe Gang, uh, I guess. Yeah. Do you have Toe emotes? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't have Toe emotes because I feel like that would really push the weird people. Okay, yeah. Thing, so. <laughs> definitely, definitely would. What what games are you currently playing now? I know what you're playing, Sadie, but you can let everyone know. Sadie, yeah, go ahead. What game are you playing right now? Right now, uh, I'm alternating between Genshin Impact and uh, Dark Souls 3 at the Ringed City DLC. Oh, cool. Oh, you must be hyped for the next um, remake coming out. Demon Souls? Yeah, Demon Souls. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tricia Walro, you probably recognize. Love you, Sarah and Seti. Near Automata is my fate. That's a good one. Aww. Love you, Automata. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I was just started playing it. Um, Sarah. <laughs> What are you playing right now? Uh, right now, I'm currently playing God of War, uh, Resident Evil 3, which is uh, my very mm. first Resident... It's my very first horror game, even. <gasps> you don't count The Last of Us. Yeah, no, I, I I'm such a scaredy cat. Swear. Wait, the remake? Like, so is yeah, it. I'm playing the remake, but I recently found out that the remake isn't that good, apparently. It's like, still good. People, it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> and, but yeah, like so. But for me, I see it as like you know the glass half full because at least if I'm starting off with the least favorite and they play Resident Evil Two and Resident Evil Four, then I'm gonna have a nice experience. But right now I'm playing God of War, Resident Evil Two, and Red Dead Redemption. Oh my God, I love Red Dead Redemption. It's so it's such a nice open world game. I need to get into that. I need to get into that. Oh, you you're played any games, guys. Everything that comes up, you're like, oh, I've never played that. I've never played that. What's that? Never played any game. I was conscious of the fact that I love that you called me out on that. And um, <laughs> the answer to that, we'll never know. Um, yeah, Miru. <laughs> Miru, why are you playing? How about Miru? You know, you guys are talking a lot about Resident Evil. Uh, I did give it a try, but I'm a scaredy cat, so I oh. I didn't last oh. long. <laughs> but you were yeah. playing that game of, what do you call it? Phantagasm? It's so, so weird. Phasmophobia? Uh, Phasmophobia. It, um, it does, it's not so much scary. I mean, some parts can be, but it's more like, I like the the, the mystery solving aspect of it. The yeah. trying to figure out like what kind of ghost it is. Um, it Actually, it's funny because I was playing Dark Souls 3 before yeah. I tried out Final Fantasy 14 and then Final Fantasy 14 took over my life. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> Shout out no, to that my boy, Julian Bardakov. What's up? He's obsessed with my haircut. That's nice. Kane Production is in the house. Kane Production, my buddy Kane, who creates uh, our amazing trailers on uh, on our, our YouTube channel. 
he is Hi, uh, Kang. Say hi to Kang. What's up, Kang? Hello. And say back to work, hi, Kang. Julian. He's the voice of Luigi. Say hi, Julian. He actually No way. Wait, what? Yeah, He's yeah. He's the yeah. voice of Luigi? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. And and uh, yeah, so some cool. of the weird ones like uh, I forget the Mar Mar I just sound like I'm such a non-gamer now. I've forgotten like one of the main <laughs> characters in the Mario universe. What's that mushroom guy? Uh, I don't know. Toad. That's the Toad. one. I'm such an idiot. Uh, I'm a fraud, everyone. Have you just explained? fake gamer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely. Um, most anticipated game. Look, one thing I was going to ask because I've seen your content and you guys, uh, Sarah, you you, you game primarily on PlayStation, but Sedi and Miru, you two are on PC. Miru, are you a console fan as well? Are you looking forward to the next gen consoles? I am, or like, you mean like the PS5? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I am. I mean, I still play some games, like for example, like the most recent one I think was Ghost of Tsushima. <clears throat> and so I played that one on like the PS4, yeah. So uh, I do alternate between like PC and like PS4 every now and then. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a uh, similar combo, I think, maybe to Seti. Seti, do you you're you're a gamer, right? What? Oh, you're a gamer. <laughs> you're a gamer. <laughs> you're a gamer. Oh, no. What? I only played Barbie Dreamhouse. No. Um. <laughs> yeah, I do play both. Um. I've I've been totally like a PlayStation person, but uh, ever since I started streaming, I kind of switched over to PC. But I do still enjoy both, and I'm totally getting two PS5s <laughs> definitely. Oh. So yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you actually went to PC because the streaming's more easier. I imagine a lot of people love it. Yeah, because of the Elgato. Oh, because yeah. you have to have like a thing. Yeah. Game capture. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah no, absolutely. And Sarah Carlos, you're, you're, um, you are definitely, surely, must be getting a PlayStation 5. Yes, I got I got one pre-order. So I'm so happy about that one. You're lucky, but I'm not cause... expecting... I'm not expecting to get it on time though, but yeah. What a disaster, I, right? Yeah, that was a I mess. No, it, it's such a mess. And it's so weird. Like, you know how I kind of stopped and I had to reassess how mad I was because I'm like, wait, I'm not like this. I don't get that. <laughs> really like, this. like, what have I ever gone? <laughs> but yeah, no, it was kind of, it's crazy. I, I couldn't believe it. Like I, I, I kept thinking, oh, you know, they'll, they'll be able to sell one again. I'm sure. But then, it, it days went by, and I still couldn't get one. And when the time finally came that I got one, I was so happy. Like, oh my god, it was yeah. a struggle. Yeah, it was no, a struggle. It, it was a struggle. It, they, they really messed that up. It's a complete uh, shit show with that. But what, are, what are the game? What game are you? most excited about most anticipated game that hasn't come out yet what are you looking forward to sarah hmm. what that hasn't come out yet uh, yeah you're i don't know um, i don't know i can't think of one right now right wait God. I, i'm oh, gonna God. have wait <laughs> study first i can't think of one right <laughs> now. Oh, wait, no, god of war 5 god of war 5 i'm excited about that oh. and resident evil 8 i'm excited about yeah. that you guys love your scary games. I can't play that. Um, it's about God of War. Gaz is too scary. I'll hold to your hand if you want. Tony says Gaz wears a normal watch. You... This is a good one. <laughs> um, uh, Sedi, your favorite, most anticipated game of all time? Uh, the ones that are already announced, obviously, Cyberpunk and uh, Demon <gasps> Souls. And the ones that aren't announced, and like, please, 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 already announce it. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, please. Okay. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 Remake, it's definitely happening, I think. Um, yeah, I think so. But weren't, aren't they like kind of um, walking on eggshells with that? Because I heard yeah. that Resident Evil 4 was so silly that it worked. And that's why they have to be really, really careful with the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Oh. Right, because I mean, it could go either or. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm I... honestly new to the Resident Evil scene. I feel like Sadi would know more, but yeah, I tend to believe I also forgot that Cyberpunk. I'm excited about that. Yeah. One. But yeah, are people like very particular with the Resident Evil 4 remake? Or I mean, are the expectations so high that? Yeah, I would say so. I think so. I think I, I, yeah, that's a good question. I think that they are. Uh, why is no <laughs> Julian is saying why is no one mentioning Assassin's Creed Valhalla he works on the game oh, <laughs> um, oh. Well, I haven't heard of that <laughs> because 
you haven't sent me my free copy, uh, Julian. You need to send it to me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It, that, that is probably the game that a lot of uh, people's next gen most most anticipated one. It's particularly on Xbox because Xbox hardly has any launch titles, so that's the one they're looking out for. Um, Miru, next most anticipated next gen game. <clears throat> I think uh, it's really similar to like what Sadi said because um, I surprisingly liked. Dark Souls 3 a lot. Even though Dark Souls 3 was my first Dark Souls game, like I really enjoyed it a lot and I do need to go back into it. Uh, so it is Demon Souls and Cyberpunk as well for the ones that have been announced. Nice. Yeah. Good show. Good choices. Mm -hmm. Good choices. Sarah, you could have picked those, but you messed that up. Oh, I know. Oh, I was alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm trying to host the show as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> wow. You deserved that one. <laughs> The only one five dollar super chat gas we need aussie gamer to read out your super chats aussie gamer is a legend most people won't know him because he's currently in jail um so the well, he's not, not really not really um, oh, <laughs> it's just the silence was brilliant acer what's your most anticipated game oh shit, me um <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't know besides um cyberpunk obviously i'm in a bit of a predicament because in the first couple of weeks of november i should be getting the playstation the xbox pc graphics card and a virtual reality headset <laughs> so <laughs> what i'm looking I'll forward to most I don't, I, i'm gonna get all of this <laughs> new stuff stick it in the corner and play cyberpunk <laughs> that's exactly what's gonna happen it's a good choice it's a good to be choice. fair to, to be fair the only one that i know that i'm gonna play day one when i get these consoles the ones that i'll get straight onto is the spider-man mark moranis game Okay, that's good. I'm going to stop playing Spider-Man so you can stop making fun of me for not playing that. Another one on the list, <laughs> if anyone was keeping track. Games, yeah. Gaz hasn't played all of them. It's a short list. <laughs> yeah, um, I have my list of three games. Um, <laughs> worst game ever played. Miru, do you, does a really shit game come across to you when I think worst game ever? What's the worst game you've played? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know that I mentioned like cutesy games back when I was little, like on PlayStation. Um, oh, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit this, but <laughs> I played Mary Kate and Ashley like like they were stuck in the mall or something. No, <laughs> it was a really terrible game, but at, it was a really terrible game. But at the time, like I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, when, you that, when you said that, that's the, like the worst game I've been. played, but it was like a terrible game. Oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing. I tried thinking like, what is like the worst game? And I, I, it's, I don't know. Maybe I, I just like games too. I don't know. I couldn't think of one. If I had a pick one, I would if you said Legend of Dragoon, just as a really throw a spanner in the works there. <laughs> what? Wait, what? L Wait. Is it Legend of Dragoon? That, what about it? <laughs> the worst game ever. No. She's gonna beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna beat you okay, up. Okay, the voice acting in English is really terrible, but other than that, like, it's fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Sadie, what's your, does a worst game ever come to mind? Uh, yeah. Uh, my personal worst game, like, I hate to say it, but I, and well, I mean, like, there's like obviously games that are just technically just not good games but as far as like a proper game that i just personally didn't enjoy i would say sadly alien isolation i didn't like it it was too slow for me i oh, yeah really? sorry yeah that's an interesting that's a good that's a good shout uh, that's good that's a good one um i don't know what that sound is but hey, uh, <laughs> sarah what is um <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I was to say trying... Mary Kay and Ashley as well. Um, <laughs> Gaz, is, Gaz is pulling my leg because he knows I'm stealing his spotlight. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, this, I, it's not so much as a gay, a specific game, but I guess just I remember the trend of movies being turned into games. The, those yeah. type of I don't know why I, I would ever. I think I've been a victim to it at least five times. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'd still do it. Like I'd buy the Ghostbusters one or like uh, Zathura. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, like just uh, silly movie movies that were turned into games 
Yeah. And I feel like I wasted my money. So those were kind of like the worst games I've ever had played. Did you That's buy the Harry Potter one? <laughs> I did. Oh Harry my Potter yeah. One. Well, the Harry oh Potter one is okay, but yeah, it was fine. But dude, it was, it was great for its it, time. <laughs> he, it was great for its time. I guess it was more of like, oh, I thought they would offer something new. I didn't know it was an exact copy of the movie. So yeah. That's the new trilogy. one looks good. The new one looks good. Um, oh yeah, the new one looks good. Yeah, it's open world, I think. Oh, I think so as well. Uh, Back Fandango X, thank you so much for the ten dollars. Uh, Super Chat. He says, "Bug Bug Snacks will be the game of the year." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was sarcasm. Please tell me it was sarcasm. Um, but no, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It might, it might actually surprise everyone. It looks like a fun game. It's just uh, it's a bit unfair that it kind of gets uh, raked through the coals because of its cartoony look. Um, s- single player or multiplayer is my next question, Sarah. I think the answer is obvious. Are you a single player game or a multiplayer gamer? I'm a single play. I'm a single player gamer. For me, it's just kind of easy it's easier i guess in a way and if i do multiplayer i become way too aggressive i don't know <laughs> why i become way too aggressive it brings out something bad in me that looks like How something would... miru would do as well i can see her go evil when she plays multiplayer <laughs> that's complete sarcasm no definitely not <laughs> you have to look like the nicest person i think i've ever met um, but are you please read Everybody has rage. I like, cannot imagine you rage, Miru. I just not for those. <laughs> I, I I almost did during Dark Souls three because. Yeah. <laughs> How can point. you not? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. How can you not? Asa still hasn't gone past the first fireplace in Bloodborne. <laughs> this is still not true. But carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's a very good game though. It's a really good game. Uh, yeah. 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 Tough. It's tough. Um. But you're you're a single player only, uh, or primarily single player game, Mira, or do you play both, or what do you prefer? Yeah, both. <clears throat> I'm okay with both. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And Seri? Uh, for me, um, well, since I'm like a um, full time streamer, uh, there's definitely like a lot of multiplayer stuff that is very attractive to me, so I can interact with my chat. But I would say there's always like a place and time and like a mood for both so uh yeah sometimes when you're just being anti-social then you definitely want to just like play on your own with like five double chins in your pajamas and not talk to anyone and like eat something and be gross and then sometimes you just really want to play with other people and chat and stuff like that so yeah both i think what we we all should play is among us i haven't played it and i really want to play that i I don't like it oh that (laughs) would be fun (laughs) I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think it would be fun if we played it. Just, just. I would play with you. Yeah, and it'd be fun if we played it together. It would be actually really interesting if it's chilled. Uh, I've heard people just literally have full-on spats and fights over it. Just like it gets the worst out of people. Like chill. Alexis Pasta says Sarah has cute rage moments. I don't know how cute that would be. I've seen you at the gym. You look like someone who'd be very scary when you're angry. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I don't know. Like it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, moving <laughs> on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why? Of all the things that made you shy. Okay. Um, favorite character in gaming, Sarah. Go ahead. Oh, oh Joel. I knew you were gonna say that. It's just so obvious. Uh, he's. I just really like Joel, but I also like Sora. Joel and Sora. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Sorry, from it. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Dude, okay. oh my god. <laughs> like Hearts, yeah, just a weird. pony. <laughs> <laughs> Play me on Quake Three. You'll see his fake. Um, <laughs> so Sadie, <laughs> favorite character. Favorite character. Well, I guess I have to go with this guy, uh, Nemesis yeah. from Resident Evil. Yeah. That is such an odd choice, but so cool. Like I. He what is, is it, so hot. What is it about so hot? Did you say he's so hot? Yeah, he's <laughs> so hot. <laughs> I did uh, see um, someone has modded it so that you can play Resident Evil with the nemesis in his yes, speedos. Yes, but that's... <laughs> in speed- yeah, no, but that one isn't really hot because he just looks like a dude that's like slightly <laughs> you, gray. Okay, you understood. You like guys with big bodies, huh? No, I just like monsters. <laughs> oh, I just like monsters. <laughs> Um, that is cool. LW Jordan says, is Gaz a fake gamer? Yes, it's quite obvious. I've been exposed. Yeah. 
um, for not knowing that Kingdom Hearts character. What's his name again? Uh, let's, let's not go there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Miru is like, what? How can you not know him? Um, Miru, what is your favorite character in gaming? If it's something from Legend of Dragoon, no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think Final okay. Fantasy character, a Final Fantasy character. Yeah, actually, mm. um, cause I used to think, oh, I might get hit. I used to think, I used to think Tifa was overrated, but like see, seeing oh. more of like Tifa in Final Fantasy VII remake, like hit something in my heart. <laughs> so oh. now I'm like a huge Tifa simp. So. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Tifa, uh, Tifa her boobs are too big, though. <laughs> I mean, like, she's wearing a they super were, but... in remake. So. <laughs> I mean, does, but does it's... it have to balance that much? Does <laughs> it have she, to should have she should have a bigger uh, butt. She should have a bigger butt. You know what? I like yeah. Aerith more. I like her. Me too. Both. I do like Aerith. Aww. Yeah. Well, actually, I like them both. So I, I yeah. like them both. I just. Like the first playthrough, I I was like, oh, I'm gonna do everything with Aerith, like, cause you can get different cutscenes with like Aerith or Tifa or oh, even yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my first playthrough, everything was about Aerith, and I was like, okay, I'll give Tifa a try, and then that's when it like it changed me. So <laughs> mm. yeah. <laughs> um, since you guys care so much about who my favorite character is, <laughs> actually, yeah, you might recognize this one because you're all such. So Cool games on um, Final Fantasy. I actually really liked Squall. I hated oh. him. I oh. thought, why is he such a dick to everyone? And then I realized that's how you get far in life. But then <laughs> I, I never got, never completed it. And then I don't know what uh -huh. happened. Don't ruin it for me. I'm still playing it, um, catching up with my backlog. Go, do it. Yeah, what are you go. talking here? Yeah, but Asa keeps. Why are you to here? Go. Yeah, why am I'm I here? Why you am can I? <laughs> <laughs> and I ask myself every day, why am I? <laughs> Asa, please don't sit on the fence on this one. Who is your favorite character in gaming? Uh, pff, uh, Mario. I don't have a favorite character. <laughs> and I hate Mario. I have never played a Mario game, really. So no. um, I really don't have a favorite character in games. I need to think about that for a while longer. Um, Julie Bardicoff says, Gaz's favorite character is the fucking squid in Smash Brothers. He says that because I just... <laughs> what are you going to say, Julie? What are you going to say? Um, but yeah, no, no, I, I don't. He's, he's going to take it seriously. He is actually going to hit me. Um, now, like we've talked about your games, is we've kind of built a profile around you. Now we can know where you live. No, um, we know <laughs> what your tastes are. Um, I wanted to kind of go into, segue into your gamer, well, well, content creation and your streaming history, because that's what you guys do. And it's really cool. I've seen your content, how I found you. Um, I wanted to ask, um, in no particular order, Miru, um, what made you get into streaming? Why do you like it? And you know, what attracts you to it? Oh, uh, how do I say it without sounding sad? So I first started streaming, I actually first started in like 2016, but it was only for like a couple weeks. Um, but it was because <laughs> I used to play a lot of League of Legends and sometimes like my friends would want to catch like watching my games like live. And, and then sometimes people would pop in and I've actually made some friends like through Twitch chat. So it became a way to like talk to people and make friends that way. <laughs> like, you know, common Aww. interests, like common game interests and stuff. And then it's been on and off over the years. And it wasn't until like this year where I started consistently because I still, I only do like, um, I make YouTube videos for fun and I only stream sometimes because like that's, those are more of actually my hobbies because I do have like a full-time job. Um, mm -hmm. So I do a lot of this stuff on the side, but I mostly <laughs> did it, yeah, because I have a very small community, but I very much like love and appreciate them. And it's like, it's a good way for me to like make friends because I'm not like, I'm not the type to go out. I don't really leave no, my place often. <laughs> so it's Absolutely. like a good way to like Aww. interact with other people that have like similar interests and stuff like that. What's funny is the the world is going that way with the COVID nineteen. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to discover that. So yeah. you're ahead of the curve, man. It is, and it's absolutely fine. I know loads of my friends are like that. Uh, Batty Crease, I should have read that out. B Crease says twenty pounds. Thank you so much for your uh, super chat. The question is very good about the experience the girls have had in the community. I will go on to that. That will be the next set of topics uh, that we will discuss. But good question, and we will raise that and change your name, please, God. Um, 
<laughs> if you're not in the UK, you probably don't understand. That's uh, that's an offense. I think I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. That is, Sadie's that is got her mind in the guts. She knows straight away. Um, Always. <laughs> Sadie, um, so yes. you have been a gamer since you were a kid. Mm -hmm. What made you get into streaming and content creation? Uh, so I kind of... Well, I'm actually kind of a newbie myself because I've only been streaming for a bit over a year now. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, it's been kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, um, well, first, um, you know, as a, as a kid, I always loved like entertaining my family members, the poor fuckers. And uh, I would always like do little sketches and stuff for them. And I would always try to make them laugh. And, and I loved being like, the I don't know, the center of attention, I guess, in a way. And, um, you know, uh, since I don't really have like any traditional training and anything like that, sort of like not singing, not acting, any of that, I kind of missed out on that. Uh, and I just kind of, you know, I was in game dev first and uh, it was very uh, like a kind of like a, on a whim that I decided, you know, if I do game dev, I could maybe um, stream the game that we do. We don't have to pay anyone. I'll just do it myself, even if it's just five people watching. And then promptly, I I totally fell in love with it, and yeah, yeah. now I'm here, <laughs> full time that's, Twitch streamer. That's really cool. I, lo I love yours and Miru's story. I want to hear <laughs> Sarah Carlos's reasons. You're you're a famous actress in the Philippines. I'm a famous actress, yeah. Yes, you are. You are. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. You're like the oh. King Joffrey of the Philippines. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I wish I was bigger. I want to be a Cersei of the Philippines. <laughs> anyway, um, no. Uh, so how I got started? Well, honestly, this was really, I this is really for fun for me. I I'm doing this because well, I'm not belittling it. I'm doing it with the thought of doing it for fun. Uh, I don't want to stress myself with regards to numbers and everything else. So, but I naturally started streaming because I mean I was already in the profession of content creation, mm -hmm. um, and well, personally, I already saw myself like playing video games like five to six hours a day because of the pandemic. So I was like, oh, why don't I just stream it and everything. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's how I ended up starting streaming. I guess it, it just took a lot longer than usual because, I mean, I'm not a techie person. Actually, uh, I mean, whenever I'd hear, whenever I'd watch her streams and i hear Asa talk, I was scared of Asa because I'm like, oh. That's what I, I like to hear. Everybody's I'm scared, scared of Asa. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> But I think I'm getting there. I think I'm learning the ropes and everything. It's just a matter of really... I, I, you really have to put yourself out there and like um, trial trial and error, I guess. So that's yeah. how I got into streaming and it's been fun. So. Oh, that's good. And the content is great. So you know, it's really good that energy comes through. Oh, thank you. Jats reminded me, everyone hit the like button, share it, like, and spread it. Spread it, that sounds good. Um, um, oh. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um alexis uh i think she's a big fan of yours says we love you sarah OGG gang oh, og gang og gang I think. oh i think or OG, gang. OG, OG gang no thumbs down just because ladies are on <laughs> no don't hate <laughs> the ladies um yeah so the next topic um because content create you're kind of exposing yourself to the world surely you've had Okay, let me go to the positive bit. What are your highlights of your content creator things? A moment that pops into your mind. Uh, Seti, tell me that your favorite moment. I can see you. <sighs> <laughs> uh, well, it would have to be two. One, of course, was when I got partnered live on stream. Um, that was really cool. Oh, and yeah. I cried and, uh, well, I don't know if you guys have like a voice mod. It's like a voice changer. And I accidentally, yeah. in my panic, I um I switched my voice mod to my ogre voice. So essentially, I was sitting there crying, saying thank you to everyone in an <laughs> ogre voice. Um, uh, <laughs> I just watched, and I was like, oh, thank you so much. But he sounded like a demon. 
Um, so that was pretty fun. And then another thing that was absolutely cool was when I was on the sponsored front page stream by Ubisoft and I was playing Hyperscape with about 3,000 to 4,000 people in chat. It was absolutely crazy. I loved it. I was doing that for three days in a row for six hours each. And yeah, that was so much fun. I love that. Oh, wow. That's, that's amazing. Julian, did you do that? Did you make her featured on Ubisoft's channel? I think. <laughs> do you know me? I was on Hyperscape. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't play. Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miru, what, what actually uh, is the highlight of your career in, on, in streaming? Uh, I wouldn't say I have a career in it like I said it's more of like a hobby kind of thing but like I guess the moments that are like highlights of my day when it comes to it is when somebody like was like hey I watched your video and I really liked it or like I think you're funny and I really enjoyed your video because uh even though it is a hobby and even though I do do it for fun I still put in like a lot of hours and a lot of work into editing my videos so when like somebody even takes the time to like leave a comment like it or just even just you know say like oh I really liked your video like good job I really enjoyed it it was fun to watch like it makes me like really really happy Aww. yeah <laughs> that's really good any content yeah. is great so you expect that oh. kind of comments going going okay. forward it's like a dopamine release though isn't it with social media it's like someone likes it. I love that shit I was like wow why, where, where, <laughs> you you love me more than my dad does um <laughs> 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 and uh sarah sarah sorry sarah sarah sarah, sarah. Uh, being on the show i'm kidding uh no, no yes. seriously honestly <laughs> that was the right answer i was waiting <laughs> for <that>. but actually <laughs> honestly i i'm really happy um having this route i mean albeit it's online so we're not really face to face but i'm happy to be in this round table discussion i feel kind of validated as a gamer oh. um, and um well actually uh, the a uh, high point, I guess, but I wouldn't say high point so much as a very very happy memory that I have with this whole thing is just my very first stream because I was I was half expecting I guess to be objectified like you know like you kind of because like, you know it's a male dominated thing and I was half expecting um, like uncalled for comments or men who are very you know like just like that and what, i was like what sorry I don't know disgusting how, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah disgusting who are disgusting like men who are disgusting toe, and i toe was pictures, yeah. pleasantly surprised that ev everyone i've met so far is a gentleman i mean apart from gas i'm kidding no but no everyone <laughs> hey. i've met so much is a gentleman they've been very friendly um uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to finally be meeting girls like Sadie and you. <laughs> but yeah, like I think it's really just the community, how friendly everyone is, how supportive. I think that for me is the is the highlight of really my entire thing. So yeah. Have you had like a bad moment? Because you had some really resounding success with your streaming stuff in, in terms of not hitting the creep factor. But we surely must Oh no, we we've already had a few of them like there was this one guy oh, wow. who was okay. asking me to eat his flip-flop and i'm like huh? <laughs> what amazing like like what and like, come on no. something <laughs> but yeah, like... <laughs> like, yeah see, that was like, me I don't know. that was, was me that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like a flip -flop uh, i knew it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, but I've, I've, I haven't really had any super weird moment yet. How about you, Sadie, Miru? Miru, you want to go first? Um, like a, a creepy moment or like, sorry, what was... What, yeah, what like, like your worst, maybe your worst moment. Like if like, I think for you, it was someone rejecting your proposal to eat uh, your flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh sorry that <laughs> i just got it sorry um maybe like one of the worst moments i guess uh my my the first final fantasy 14 video that i put out um i i, I mean i'm used to like hate comments every now and then but that one had an unusually unusually large amount of hate comments like god her voice makes me like want to grind my ears out or like yeah. i want to kill myself over her stupid fake voice and like it was like oh 
like a large amount that I was not used to. <laughs> so it like really got me down for like a couple days. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, like, like there's been like other like weird moments of like people asking for like feet pics and stuff. Like, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I, I had to all said you on a toe gang. It's such a horrible name for a gang. Because no, actually, <laughs> it's perfect. For... <laughs> <laughs> no, but Miru, if it. She's she's owning up to it. She's you know. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's Mira, you have the cutest voice of everyone out here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hundred percent. Who? Uh, not a normal person would ever hate on your voice. It's so adorable. Yeah. Do you want to go out with me after this? Yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, there, I thought it was directed at me. I was so happy. Um, and, uh, and Sadie, you must yes. have. Will you invite? Oh yeah. You're, you must yes oh Tell me. yeah <laughs> uh i mean i get i get marriage proposals from time to time which they never they never go through with it like i'm just you know like i i'm like okay so where's the venue are you gonna pay for it can my mom come with us in the car stuff like that you know they never come through they never come back <laughs> so that's pretty sad but uh one guy was very very adamant after like five minutes of meeting me uh to get me a green card so that was pretty fun when you say meet, um, meeting him, you mean physically actually met him or? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I met him on Twitch and he, he, he was like, you know, I just, after five minutes, that is, he was like, you know, I, I really feel something between us and like, you know, I'll I think we could really go somewhere. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, are you, <laughs> were you ever interested in a green car? And I was like, bye. <laughs> uh, girl, I already live in Germany. I don't need one. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I go over there for? No, sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, <it's true. laughs> Guys can be weird. Guys can be weird. Um, that's weird. But all sorts of weird people. Like I can't even oh, I, think about all of them. Oh my goodness! I get um like people request me for like armpit photos. Like, oh my god! Photos of my armpit, and I'm like, <laughs> why? Fantastic. Why? Oh, that's <laughs> weird. It's okay, guys. It's okay. You can be honest with us. <laughs> that, that is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Favorite content creator? Do you guys have a favorite? Yes. Inspires you? Seti, go. Yes. My favorite content creator is Kitty Rar, K I T T Y R A W R, on Twitch. She's amazing and she is the coolest streamer on Twitch. And I encourage everyone to check her out. Um, she's been like, she's an OG. Uh, she's been doing it since forever and she still has passion and she's still. Loves what she's doing, and she's my wife, and I love her. Thank you very much. <laughs> Aw, so cute. And who's your favorite? Oh, sorry, someone just said to me, what's your favorite female character in the game? Actually, before we go into that, well, that's a good question. Who's your favorite female character? Oh, me? Yes. Yeah, or, sorry. Go, go, oh, go. Me. Uh, favorite female? Oh, well, we talked about her. I love Aerith. Aerith. I, oh, you know what? <laughs> a low key. Uh, uh, uh favorite character which i never really got to play but i like dina from the last of us part two like dina's i don't know she has a very charm she's just an npc but she's very charming for me so i like dina i spent that well. whole game trying to throw bricks and bottles at dina she does most <laughs> of them <laughs> <laughs> okay how about you miru um besides tifa hard oh actually um not a lot of people like her but i like yuffie too i oh. think yuffie's really cute but a lot of people call her trash so <laughs> people are mean yeah, yeah. yeah people are mean and that, but people are too i didn't get it mm. anyway. <laughs> mira who's your favorite content creator or someone who inspires you or just like watching mm, hachabi have you guys heard of the korean streamer hachabi Hot yeah, hot chubby. Oh, I thought you were streamer. saying hot chubby. Like I thought you called Gaz hot chubby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. The like, shape. Like, no, no, it's H A C H U B B Y. Yeah. Uh, she goes uh, by like Korean streamer Pepega Queen. Like she, she does like a lot of like interesting content. Uh, she's really entertaining to watch. Uh, 
Her English has gotten a lot better because she started streaming like without really knowing English. Um, but yeah, she's really entertaining to watch. I would highly recommend her. Is she the one that often has like really extra glasses on? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Extra glasses? No. Well, I don't know a lot of streamers. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Um, but well, no, you guys, the names you mentioned, I want to check them out all of a sudden. Oh, uh, yeah. For okay. me, I'm my favorite streamer has got to be well, like as like the type of streamer I'll be starstruck with if in case I ever meet her is Mars Mars from YouTube. Okay. So I just find her so adorable. But um, lately as well, I've been watching my friend. Her name is Jackie Bunny. She just started, and she's an amazing F. PS gamer like she oh, okay. plays them all like Valorant so I'm like I'm kind of amazed with Wasn't that it? because I, I, um, Jackie Bunny J-A-C-Q-U-E and then Bunny B-U-N-N-Y like yeah she's really good at, when it comes to first person shooting games and I'm so very proud I of hate her. you you've made a meme out of hot chubby now and that's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> get them no, hot chubby ones though. hell yeah Hell yeah. Chubby. Dude, oh love it. Thank you so you much. You should do this. You should do you should hold your face like this. Yeah. So no, no. make a face like hot chubby. <laughs> definitely not. <doing> that. <laughs> That's definitely not doing that. Oh, this is my no, favorite show now. <laughs> is this your favorite show? Isn't it? I'm just getting grilled. <laughs> <laughs> They've literally taken over like they said they would. Well done. Um kudos to you. Move on to something a little bit more say serious, but it's a serious topic um that I think needs uh the attention and your perspective not mine even though i'm leading the question here but really um this is your uh this is your point of view on something very fundamental as the role of an experience as women in gaming what is it like sort of a bit of a heavy question sarah was it like being in a heavily male dominated medium do you enjoy the fact that there are so many males watching you or is it still an intimidating factor or is... be honest uh, oh, okay. enjoy the fact. Um, no, I, I wouldn't say. I, I don't know. I, it's neither bad or good. Um, but for me, like, I'm sorry for bringing up Asa again. But for uh, whenever I have guys like Asa, it wasn't my actually me doing who, the flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> who are very particular or. I mean, because it could go either way. They could be kind when it comes to giving suggestions for comments or tips, or they could be, you know, very brutal. Like you're, uh, you're such an idiot. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? So it can be. Um, I wouldn't say I'm intimidated, but more like I just. It's like flipping a coin. I don't really know what type of Asa I'm gonna get. I'm, pre I'm, I'm pretty much always Asa horrible. Yeah, yeah. This is my I'm favorite stream. Asa as a no -no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what type of ace I'm gonna get. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a kind ace or like Nasty, a mad ace. Nasty is the only one that exists. <laughs> yeah, so see, like <laughs> something like that. So I guess, um, but I'm learning every day, and I and I think it just gets down to a point of being confident with my own skills and with what I learn, and I'm thankful for the kind aces of the gaming platform <laughs> so yeah that's for Asa me become the representation of all men in the, in the oh, universe <laughs> Asa, Asa's the representation of all the men in the gaming community and then i'm apparently someone who's a bit shut up hot chubby <laughs> chubby <laughs> you're not chubby gaz is a chubby what have you done to chubby isn't bad young. anyways yeah it's not bad anyway okay if you say so um, <laughs> but, um <laughs> It's not, but I don't want to be chubby gas. <laughs> it's like repressed <laughs> memories you're bringing back. Um, oh no! <laughs> um, I used to be chubby too. It's fine. You used to. I've seen you train like you're ridiculous as zero percent body fat. Um, the uh, Miru, uh, you you touched upon uh, the the positive stuff that you know you kind of reached out to streaming. Um, streaming uh, as a as a platform to build a network and you know reach out and make more friends but that male dominated side of things has that ever I, and the feet thing and all that stuff is weird uh, i you know i don't know what to say about that but 
what is it generally positive what is it like do, do you feel pressure is what i'm trying to ask to behave a certain way when you're on stream because of the male contingent that are watching mm, i i tend to care more about what other girls think than like what other guys think mm. um yeah <laughs> But I mean, like, uh, I mean, since I have been playing games since I was little and like growing up, even like going through high school, if, if like games came up, I would like to kind of like talk about it. But then like maybe because it was back then, but the, they're like, you don't you you play games. You don't look like you play video games. And I'm like, how am I supposed to look to, to <laughs> right. play video games like that? That was like a weird thing. And so I guess with my experiences, like if I played games like <laughs> like Call of Duty or like, you know, a lot of stuff like online and you talk and they're like, oh my God, it's a girl talking like that. Right. Over time, years and years and years of like making like good in the kitchen, make a sandwich, it gets old, <laughs> it's whatever. But like, I guess maybe as time goes on, maybe I just don't care about it. I, I find it annoying, but I don't care it as much. I care about it as much. Yes. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't have like, I, I don't feel pressured or I don't feel like, I don't really have any issues. The only thing really about it being male dominated is that I just wish I had more like, Girl, female friends. friends, like, yeah, oh, like other same, girls. Me, I'm here, here, I'm here. <laughs> That's basically, <laughs> like, yeah, I was like really excited about this too because I was like, oh, maybe I can, like, I'll, I'll, like, after this, I'll, like, I'll follow them on everything and, like, <laughs> cute, <Yeah>. cute. <laughs> yeah, no, and actually, How about you, Sadie? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just gonna say, no, Miriam made a really good point about the support of other women, which is the next topic, actually. But before we go into that, we need to speak to Miss Togang. Um, Miss Togang? Okay. Miss <laughs> Togang. Um, what exactly is the question right now? <laughs> I knew. <laughs> uh, that's a good point, actually. I did. Um, do you feel pressured to behave a certain way because of a male, male dominated? Uh, um, here's the thing. Um, there's definitely, and this is going back to like the other question you had, there is definitely, um, you know, uh, girls are treated very differently and uh, there is sort of an unwanted um, special, uh, you know, um, there's unwanted special attention and uh, special treatment that I think a lot of girl gamers, they don't want that. They just want to be a gamer. We don't want to be girl great gamers. We don't want to be e-girls or like girl streamers. We just want to be streamers. We just want to be gamers, and um, I mean, you know, um, well, in the if, industry, what obviously. Yes. What if someone what was that? a girl gamer? What, what if someone? And that's just... fine. That's fine. But I feel like most of us we don't because, <clears throat> um, how do I put this? Be rule. You can say it. This isn't right. So, um, to me personally. Like something that Miru touched uh, touched upon is like you you can't go in a voice chat without pe people being like oh wow it's a girl or something like that you know and like if you had a bad day you come home you just want to play a game that is really annoying um, you know it doesn't matter what's between my legs I want to play the same game as you and, and just enjoy it in the same way as you do so yeah. just treat me the same and I can hardly imagine that there's a lot of girls who want that kind of attention like obviously there's like some cool things about it too but like you know mostly it's just kind of negative and uh i would say that we are held to a higher standard like for example um if 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 i enjoy a game like let's say buck snacks then uh, i'm just a fake gamer but if pewdiepie were to be like oh hell yeah buck snacks let's go then it would just be oh haha what a jokester you know and um you know that's pretty sad um, and furthermore, I would say that, um, um, that's actually, good. no, there's, Go there's a lot of like backseating in general, like, especially in games like Dark Souls, there's lots of backseating, but then if well, you're a female, oh, someone, someone's critiquing trying you. to explain the game uh -oh. to you. Uh -huh. Um, and so like, if, if you're female, female, per, um, like perceived, then, uh, I feel like a lot of people think that you really need their help and uh, you can figure stuff out for yourselves and uh, also they might think that you are impressed if they try to 
tell you and like spoiler a game mechanics to you they think that you're going to be impressed which if you're listening to this right now and you think this nah please don't <laughs> please don't do it <laughs> No, I've actually learned. Well, I but I feel like there there are like some helpful tips that are nice. But for me as well, I uh, I hate it if it, they do it in a condescending way. Yeah. They explain it in a condescending way, and it's like, okay, thank you for the help, but you didn't have to tell it like that. Yeah, you, you get me? Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I had someone mm-hmm, who was mm-hmm. like, God, you're so worthless. You don't know how to blah blah blah. What? I be- first he was like, you don't need to dodge that, sweetie. And he's like, oh, you can uh. do this, honey. And then I, when I wasn't like listening. To him because he was like annoying me and then he was oh like my oh, you're so worthless you don't know what you're doing you suck at this game no. <laughs> wow. i remember i got this one comment because i curse i curse whenever i'm pressured or basically i just curse when i do my playthrough sometimes and there was this one guy who was like saying oh can you curse some more can you make it more lady like he was being he was fucking oh like, yeah obviously. yeah but I was like, oh can you curse some more can you be more lady like because it's so sexy when you curse more and i'm like okay i will <laughs> It's such, it's like ah, uh, some guys are such assholes sometimes. It's true. <laughs> but I mean, girls, girls can be assholes as well. Yeah, uh, totally, totally. Well, yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Not wrong. Okay. I'm sit here. Can I say wrong. something else though? Yeah. Can I say something else though? And this re- this regards streaming, streaming more so than uh, other stuff. So on on Twitch, you have like moderators for your chat, right? Yeah. And so. Um, for example, when I play a game, I'm like, no spoilers, no backseat, because I'm trying to, you know, figure this out for myself. Uh, yeah. Then, obviously, when people come in and they spoil a game mechanic, they're like, oh, this is the trick. They get timed out. And then if they try again, they get timed out again. Their messages get deleted so that I don't see it. Thank you, moderators. Um, and I don't get spoiled for it. And so when they get banned from the channel because they don't listen to the chat rules, they will go off on both me and all my moderators saying that my moderators I are white knights <laughs> because they enforce the rules in the stream. Yeah. That's really silly to me. And they'll go off on tangents and say... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I do sympathize though. I, I, I've seen it. I've witnessed the, the, the condescending element of it is must be really annoying. Really annoying. I'm it condescending be, yeah. to Acer because he shits at multiplayer. But... <laughs> So, you know, just based on, you know, if you have no Y chromosome and people are just that, that you know, when Miru, the way you, um, that's kind of annoying me as you were saying it, you know, hey, sweetie, can you, this guy, that yeah. guy's obviously on some kind of register, but it's just horrible. <laughs> I, I hate that. And I, 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 I sympathize, I sympathize, but Sarah clearly needs the help because she was like, yeah, yeah, no, I need the, the, the tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, for it's me, fine, no, I'm right? just, if you I'm ask, lucky. it's yeah. lucky, and but, yeah. uh, and honestly, it, it depends on how they explain it. But if it's something very condescending, like there was this one guy, basically he just doesn't get the joke, or like I said something like, "Can I not fight anymore?" and I said it in a joking way, and then I get the hate comments, like, "Why are you playing God of War?" Blah, 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 blah. Right. Like, Jeez, it's just a joke. Come on. Yeah. Anyway. No, I- that sucks. That sucks. But mm-hmm. now that you guys are going on a anti male rant, might as well help you out. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you get su- enough support from other women in the industry? I kind of suspected that when a woman, I've seen this before, women fighting with amongst each other. Do you feel like? Well, how do you feel you're getting support from other women in in the stream? Because all three of you have said, "Oh, we were really looking forward to meeting more girl gamers." It sounds like you. Um, Oh, that's what, so why are you doing that face? If I ask something wrong, he's just there. No, 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 like, completely he's unrelated. He's trying to make you nervous. I no, think. no, I was reading the chat. <laughs> with, um, it's just silently time. judging you. I, I usually am. am. Yeah, pretty much always. No, Tony in the chat said my forehead is super red from all the fire in the background. The fire in the background isn't real. I don't actually live in a CFD's cabin. But... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so yeah, no, that's just my natural, natural redness. <laughs> and the wine that you're drinking. Um, no wine today. Yeah. <laughs> no why today. Oh, I'm sorry that you're feeling ill. Um, but women, support from women in the industry. Um, yeah. Are, do you think there needs to be more of that? Or do you feel like there's a damn bell? Do you think unprofessional? <laughs> no. Right, right. Unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, I'm just handing it. I'm just. I'm handing it. I'm handing my notice in. Uh, oh. Uh, Sarah, what do you think? Do you think you get enough support of women in games? I've only ever had really one um, unpleasant experience with 
what I'm assuming is another girl gamer because her username was girl gamer and she called me a bitch because I didn't get <laughs> the I didn't get the terms right when I was talking about cyberpunk and I was like what the hell why would you why I don't know it was just it was it, I didn't waste any more time on it but it just kind of crossed my mind like huh Okay, if I'm gonna assume that she really was a girl, why would you call someone a bitch just because they didn't get it right? You get me? Like, but other than that, like, I do have girlfriends who I play with as well, and we support each other. And even like when it comes to dressing up, getting ready, we support. Like, you know, like things like that. I feel like it's a good thing that there are more good than bad like and for me that's like a hundred to one like i mean i meet girls like Se- seti and Nero, and they're like total sweethearts and you know like i think uh, it would be nice though to see more girl gamers um networking or connecting with each other and yeah just having each other's back that's for sure I agree with you. I agree. With you. Dodge Knight, thank you for the five pounds. Dodge Knight is an absolute legend. Shout out to all the guys for a great show and panel, especially for Asa for keeping it all together. I don't think Asa gets enough credit because the uh-huh. stuff he does whilst maintaining that lovely smile on his face, it must be, um, I don't know. Fair, I it's quite it. an easy one today. So, quite yeah. an easy one for me today. <laughs> yeah, because Sarah's hosting it. I, I love this. I love this. Sarah, you need to be a permanent fixture on these shows. <laughs> wow, uh, okay. Um, and Seti, I'm, I'm we it's so perfect that we talk about this right now because my wife is in chat right now Your wife hi lily i love you i love you so much <laughs> well, that, that's really cool that um do you feel like that study that you get a lot um female support or did, does it particularly hurt when other female streamers are spite you or they say something negative um sarah's only had one example and has obviously stuck in her mind that she remembers mm-hmm. that. Uh, so for me, I think there's definitely some girls that are kind of like competitive towards each other, maybe with like, um, you know, in terms of like appearance or stuff like that. And I do understand it because in some ways, not to get to like too political or anything, but like in some ways that's like most of the worth that is put on us. So a lot of girls, you know, um, they just see each other in a competitive way but i do i do want to say that i think there's so many girls who are just absolutely fucking lovely supportive and uh i am very lucky to have a lot of cool both male and female streamer friends that um you know are just absolutely lovely and you know i think it's mostly the same because there's also guys who are very um you know um i guess um, what's the word can be jealous or stuff like that so it's not like a girl thing there are girls like that but i would say there's definitely a lot of girls who are very uplifting and supportive um so yeah and then for me personally since i'm like also into girls for me it just really i i don't i don't really have that because like if i see a cute girl i'm like yes <laughs> like for example with today what yeah like like he's for example today right uh, i was like Oh damn! I get to talk to these two cute ladies. That's Hell awesome. yeah! So yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I love that fact that you're all getting along, and um, it's very different. I was thinking uh, you're gonna ream out some horror stories, but Miru is lost. You haven't told us yet. Have you? Um, have you uh, had an experience where, or do you think there should be more support for women in, in within the community of women? More support with each other. I I mean, I personally have never had, like, an encounter with, like, another girl being, like, catty or, like, like negative towards me. Uh, for the most part, uh, like, the ones I've interacted have been, like, really sweet and really kind. So, like, sometimes, like, on Twitter, like, if they post pictures, I'm like, you look so cute. And they're like, <laughs> you're cute. And, like, that kind of stuff. Like, for the most part, it's been yeah, really yeah, yeah. positive and... I like I said I personally haven't had a negative experience but I have also seen like drama of like like girls shouldn't be like there's already like not that many girls in gaming and sh- you shouldn't be putting each other down and stuff like that so there I do see it in the space yeah. so I do feel like yeah like yeah we should be supporting more of each other <laughs> but uh, right yeah yeah, I, yeah I, I kind of I kind of remember I don't really want to say the name anymore but I saw this one girl on she's a she's a streamer and she tweeted something like wow every girl every girl gamer is a girl gamer now just 
because you do and then something like mentioned a low tier game or something mentioned like an easy game and i was kind of yeah. like gatekeeping well, let well mm. you know gatekeeping stuff well let them feel like they're gamers who cares yeah. what they're playing yeah. right so yeah that it's just the things like that is kind of weird or rather sad to see sometimes yeah yeah. No. Um, I I think I have something else to add if we have time for it. <laughs> yeah, ab- absolutely. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm listening to everything, even though it doesn't look like it, I am listening to everything. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> well, um, so yeah, what I wanted to say was, um, so this is kind of like probably a very hot take, but um, so as you guys know there are a lot of female streamers who are like predominantly like in just chatting and they are very uh, much like uh, kind of you know like sort of creating a very sexual or suggestive atmosphere and like a lot of people are mad about that and i have been asked in my stream before if i'm you know in any way um mad about that like mad about these girls because obviously whatever you know is sad about them and whatever like prejudice uh, is like put upon them obviously comes back to all girls but like i like to remember something that jenna marbles once said so (laughs) this is really weird but um so jenna marbles she's very 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 um popular in russia and so there is a channel on youtube that uh just re-uploads all of her videos but with russian dub because apparently russians don't really like mm, you know um mm, there's probably a lot of Russians that don't know English well. So there's someone who dubs her videos. And so she has been asked a lot, is she mad about this? Is she trying to get this channel um, put down and stuff like that? And she said, no, why would she be mad at that? Because she is not looking to put up content of herself with Russian dubs. So why would she be mad at someone else doing that, providing something that she doesn't provide herself? So what I think is, Uh, Yeah, there are a lot of streamers that maybe try to go with the sex sells thing, which is very true. I don't think you can be mad at that because at any point in time, if you really want to do that, you can do it and it's lucrative. You can do it. Mm -hmm. I personally, before you guys think I'm biased on this, I am very much like a shoulders up streamer in my game screen. You don't see anything. So it's not that, but I truly think, I truly believe that, you know, it works. And so we shouldn't really slut shame them the way that we exactly. kind of are. Um, it's up to them. Exactly. It's, it's their, it's, it's their thing. If you're mad about it, yeah. you know, be like, you can become the hottest streamer on Twitch, male, female, it doesn't matter. There are a lot of thirsty girls out there who want to see hot guys too. So if you're mad yeah. about it, yeah. do it yourself. I'm not mad about it because yeah. I'm not looking to do it myself. So I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be judging yeah. them. That's what I think. Yeah. I'd, I'd also like to add, do we have time, Gaz? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> do we have time? Yeah. I, 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 I just like to add that, you know, like wh- how... However, a streamer wants to market themselves, that's for them. And you should yeah. just not really care too much as to how they want to market themselves. And, you know, when it comes to um, people generalizing all girls as they, they're supposed to be sexy streamers, that's wrong. You should put the pressure on the audience and you should make them a smarter audience. Um, yeah. To put it simply, if you, wanna, if you want Japanese food, you're not going to go to an Italian restaurant. So basically, right. if you know this streamer um, is a sexy streamer and there's nothing wrong with that, then you know what you'll expect. But it's unfair of you to go to, let's say, Sadie's stream and expect her to be like that too. Especially yeah. if she hasn't done anything remotely like that in the past. You get me? And yeah. I guess it's just all a matter of respecting the creator, respecting how they want to do things, how they want, when they want to do things. And you know just not being just not being disgusting <laughs> <In the chat. laughs> so it, it all boils down to that like just just um have proper decorum i guess i mean just because people can't see you it doesn't mean you have to act like an animal already so right yeah. that's, that's a very good like, that's kind of uh, a bit divergent from what so said is saying it's saying like there's balance and mm-hmm. you know said like well you do you um, 
expert, then you're like, there should be a standard that people adhere to. And it's always reconciling that in life. In yeah, it's it's both. I, I agree with Sadie too, but I also feel like the, the responsibility, it's like buyer's responsibility. You need to no, no, I know totally what... Agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So that was we're, actually we're my the point. Perfect balance. <laughs> yeah, I was we're asking... the perfect balance of everything. I was sitting there thinking, that's not divergent at all. They said the same thing. In yeah, that's words. the same thing. <laughs> So, okay, yes. clearly, Did so you I lied listen? when I said I am listening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a fraud today. Um, but, uh, no, you're not. Okay. Miru, uh, what, what are your, sorry, as you're drinking, <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, um, what are your thoughts about, you know, women who flaunt their wares, sorry, the wording is not eloquent in my head, but um, they flaunt their beauty, I should have said, well, not wares. Um, and they get criticized. Say, uh, do you think, like, if you do that, do you, is that bad? I I have my view on it. I think it'll be useful to get a guy's view on it. It's not bad, Asa, don't worry. But um, what do you think? <laughs> about um, I mean, that? I agree a lot with, like, what Seti and Sarah said. Like, yeah. like just about everything that they said. And, like, to me, like, if, if they want to flaunt it, that's fine. I mean, I also enjoy it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like... Is if, if whatever works yeah. for you works for you if it's not really like harming other people just let them do them you know yeah, like exactly. yeah like exactly what also what Sarah said if you want Japanese food and you go to an Italian restaurant you're at the wrong place so right yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, also, yeah. Really yeah and also like someone who runs a Japanese restaurant they can be mad if people are going to the Italian restaurant like are you gonna are you gonna serve pizza if you're not serving pizza then shut your mouth <laughs> exactly oh my god i'm hungry now <laughs> <laughs> did you want pizza before we started <laughs> yeah I, anyway. I actually agree with uh, with all of you i think it, what i've seen is it's what what i find weird is the same group of people who will very quickly you know they throw out words i'm sorry to say things like thoughts or titty stream or all this shit yeah are the same people who and i've seen this this is the very same people who will then cry about censorship in gaming because they their game hatsune miku oh. panty edition got banned and i'm just like wait <laughs> hold on a minute <laughs> you're crying about censorship you're crying about those boobs getting smaller in games you're crying about less cleavage showing in dead alive but then at the same time, you are the first to then attack the girls. Oh, she's a thought. Oh, she's a that. I think yeah. if, if I was a woman, and if I was a woman, because everyone says I sound like a woman, I've had this before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, if I was a woman, I, I, I try, to, try to understand it from your perspective. People who do use their you know looks to leverage themselves. If I was like a pro Quake gamer, any woman out there who's pro at Quake, please holler at me. I uh, will marry you. <laughs> but, um, if they were like a pro, like really good at their games, but the content in their mind was really good, but they're getting overshadowed by someone who is, you know, showing off more of their stuff. I could understand their frustration. I still wouldn't agree with their sentiments because yeah, this is the rat race in life, isn't it? Like this is beyond gaming. You have this all the time and it's just a reality of life. And Saeed Raza says, Gaz the White, someone supports me. Um, I'm just going off the back of what the, the ladies are saying. So I'm just <laughs> kind of laundering all the goodwill from them. But no, I think that's it's really good to hear that. Um, that, you know, I was expecting someone to say, well, no, that's that sucks. You know, you should focus on content or go the other way around. So no, that's good. But what I actually have a question real quick. Sorry. Uh, because you mentioned something about like censorship in games and I was just curious about you guys like what do you think about the um, argument of like having female characters be like more I guess armored up and stuff like that because I feel like a lot of people are like pushing for female characters to be like more well I think adequately dressed but I'm so sad about that because I want to see nice girl thighs all the time I want to see girl butts <laughs> while I play so I'm just interested in what you guys say about this so now you can understand my pain no uh, it's so refreshing that you're you're saying that at the same time at the same time I can see the counter as well because gamers being male dominated we've gone pretty extreme I mean dead or alive you could toggle the booby thing which is kind of stupid and I did use that saying. No, but, um, you know, it, it's a bit silly. Miru is laughing at me. Uh, but it, it is a bit <laughs> silly. But at the same time, like, it gets a bit silly in my opinion. It's very subjective. It's a very sensitive topic. Um, and as a guy, I'm a bit wary about saying it. But 
I'll be honest with you, I just think sometimes it's getting a bit too... I like you, Seti. I, I want to see some skin. We're human beings. Some nice titties. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. You said that. I didn't say that. But yeah. yeah. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. And I, I'm, that's really interesting. Uh, what do you think about that, Sarah? Do you think that censorship of the... Is there a balance to be struck? Or let's just... Um, I guess there are just... Um... There are just, when I play Final Fantasy VII, we, uh, here's the thing, I really don't care. I really don't care. I mean, as long as something looks good, it works, and wow, I'm like amazed by it. Because, you know, a girl can ha be in an armor and she could still look sexy and all that stuff. Yeah. But there yeah. are, my issue is more of the exaggerated motion or like it's almost borderline trying to be kinky or hentai uh, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, that's just when it's kind of awkward for me to play because it's like, ah, this isn't for me. This is for the boys who are playing this. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, I mean, I kind of, I mean, I like how cute Aerith is. I like how cute she yeah. is. Um, for me, I really, I really don't care if a, a girl is dressed sexy. I, I mean, but that's just me. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not very, I'm not really, uh, I don't really dive into that that much because for I think for me, at the, in the grand scheme of things in real life, looks don't matter. Yeah, um, it's what's on the inside that counts. But I know that there are that representation matters as well, and how this is probably um, dealing with the brains of the adolescents who play this. But right. Yeah. For yeah. Me, it's more of I guess just balance and not putting malice in it and the, with the graphics and the motion sensor how about how about you guys asa. Miru. <laughs> oh asa <laughs> asa is <me>. asa. <laughs> what is your you're working against each other here tonight <laughs> you have <laughs> <Nice. does>, yeah. <laughs> seen one of our shows um, <laughs> but, um asa yeah what do you think it about that it really sensor? depends on the game and what it's shooting right. for so i think there's i mean not all games need to be for all people and there's room for games to show whatever they want where it gets a little bit odd is where True. you have something like um True. like a western rpg where you have a massive big bit of plate armor for a male character same character switches and they get like the string bikini or whatever and then it kind of breaks your immersion yeah. a little bit and it's like what are you doing this is weird <laughs> at the same time there's um there's other yeah. games where it's just, it fits just fine like like these three have said it's yeah games for different people yeah, I was thinking about that too, because I, I, for the most part, I, I don't care. I also do like seeing some nice thighs and, you know, like, I guess, yeah, it's just that <laughs> part where um, I want some cool looking armor, but then it's just bikini armor and it's like, or is there anything else? Like any other cool accessories, anything else that will make me look badass? But no, it's just like barely mm, yeah, anything yeah. on it. I guess that, that'll be like the only thing that kind of bothers me. But for the most part, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, sexy or yeah. cute stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think Asa is right as much as it pains me to say this. He's always right anyway, but um, it, <laughs> there's true. context and the context, yeah, the context is important. That's true, yeah. People get a bit, but I've seen a lot of hypocrisy from the guy side of things. I'm just taking a side, I'm not simping here. This is, I've had arguments with my with former friends, and I'm just like, well, that's that's just stupid that you care that much that you're dictating that being a hypocrite but it's good to see that everyone's just be open-minded and just let people do their thing is, yeah. is the takeaway here. yeah what can the industry do more for female gamers just give them more what what sarah go last question of more yeah. more platform i mean like if ever the i mean if ever TwitchCon has happens again like make it 50 50 <laughs> like have a uh, female players as much as big guy players you know like even if this female player has less followers than the fourth um biggest male player it's all about uh girls seeing that they're represented that, that they're there that they're given a that they're given a stage and a spotlight yeah. so i mean for big for big companies like square enix ubisoft um whoever even like i mean game on is doing a good thing right now with this episode like having an all female right. ensemble um it's just really about giving us more of a platform you don't have to agree with everything that we say like it's nice to have rapport but 
Yeah. Yeah. Like let us don't make us have to fight so hard for a seat on the table. That's oh. it. Yeah, that's very poignant. Well said, Sarah. Um, do you have to fight that hard on to get on the table? Just be devil's advocate now, because I want to be a dick right at the end of the show. I say no. You have more opportunities. I'm that guy who wants. Mm. To be I'm saying this now. I think it depends on what side you look at things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think like studios and like companies, they are definitely looking for more diverse partners. But I think as far as like the community goes, if you just look at the top streamers, there's only very few female ones. Like if you look at the top 100, there's maybe like 11 or so. This is don't you know don't take me for my word because I'm pulling it out of my ass. But something like that, you know. So definitely studios and companies they love to work with uh, female people. But uh, from the like community side of things, I think there needs to be more of an understanding of, hey, we're just normal gamers like you. Maybe watch us instead of, you know, yeah. um, just screaming at us uh, that, wow, a girl that's gaming, you know, and then leaving. Yeah. Um, so from that side of things, I, I think there should be more exposure. But from the side of like studios and companies, I would agree with you. There are a lot of opportunities. Um, mm -hmm, it's mostly mm -hmm. just a community that needs to wake up. We've been here. We, we've been here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm clipping all the stuff that you're saying, cause this is, um, very good. Very well said. Um, as if I'm the arbiter and deciding that someone's going to say, Hey, who are you as a male to say that's good or bad in past judgment? I'm just, I'm just gas. Um, but no, Sadie touched up on a really good thing. Cause I also like watched this analytics guy i don't know if you guys have heard of devin nash but he goes through like a lot of like the stats for a lot of different platforms and he talks about it he'll like if somebody tries to make the argument oh just because you're a girl it's easier for you to get yeah. people to watch you and then mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. look at like the top 100 streamers they're mostly guys like there's hardly ever any females that ever get to the top so yeah that was good points that were made. it's interesting yeah. though because um I guess there is some truth in it to a level. Um, if I try and stream, nobody nobody comes to watch me. Nobody cares. So, I guess there are opportunities in that sense, in that you might attract a, an initial audience. But it's interesting that you say that at the top one hundred, there's there's so male dominance yeah. there. And, and I think Sadie uh, brought this up earlier. But basically, us girls were held up to a higher standard, or not not that, that you know people don't expect anything but from boys. But for me, like. Like, it's a big deal if I curse or if I say a bad word and it's like, oh, it's not ladylike to do that and stuff like that. So it, it, it can get kind of, I guess you could just say annoying because at the end of the day, we're just also playing the same game that you're playing and we're allowed to feel the same emotions that you're feeling. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I think Asa also said something important. Sorry, go on. I was just plugging in. I just wanted to mention Isla Drummond and the Leaper there. So both women actually, uh, that wasn't intentional, but they'll be moderating our chat and they are amazing. I just want to give a shout out to them. Thank you so much. Yay, hi. Isla says that I've also thinking about cl making clips of their wisdom. I'll call it clips of wisdom as I say. <laughs> clips of wisdom. <laughs> no, it's been really good. But sorry, Sadie, Sadi, I cut you off. Go, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to say something because like, I'm definitely like, I'm trying to not be biased on this. And like, I would say that Asa t touched on something that's important. There's definitely a click factor with uh, like female streamers, but that is also kind of not our fault because we are getting bullied out of the community. So a lot of people who actually enjoy this content are sadly male because a lot of girls, they get discouraged to come into this. And so that's because uh, that's why, you know, a lot of male you know the audience is predominantly male even though we are there as well um and so i would say uh, he's definitely right on the fact that uh you know obviously a lot of straight guys or like bi guys or whatever um they will probably enjoy watching a female because there's like this certain aspect of attraction but i also really want to say that you know um there are different there are different hurdles but for each there are still hurdles so if you say it's easier for a girl then that's really not fair and if you say it's like much easier for a guy that's also not really fair because they're like different hurdles for guys it's much it's much harder to attract viewers and keep viewers um and for female streamers it's much harder to you know um be respected by those viewers 
get respected mm-hmm. and uh, I guess stay relevant yeah. as well because it's always like who's going to be the new gamer or who's going to be the next best thing. So it's right. kind of difficult as well to keep their attention. So. Yeah. Right. And, and or like, for example, we get uh, you know, we are also judged by our appearance a lot more. Um because mm-hmm. you know, I'd say there are definitely girls out there, there are definitely uh, successful streamers out there who are maybe not conventionally attractive or whatever, but like the majority of female streamers who are successful are that and if you look at the you know at the male side of that it's like not as much so yeah. and yeah. you know so there's def- definitely like different hurdles but they are both you know so it, said, they all have their uh, all the top men well, <laughs> you That's said that. You said I that. I love how you turned that around. Yeah. Well um, no, just for just for clarity, that's, um, that wasn't me being envious and saying it's all your fault or anything. Even no, if I was no, envious, no, no. even if you had every advantage in the world, obviously not your fault. It is yeah. what it is. <laughs> it is. It is. Like you say, more really... about the audience and what the community is composed of. How do you do that, though? Said you said the community. I completely agree with you. I'm just wondering how does that happen. That's a mindset in the community that you want to change. That's a mindset that comes through. What learning. exactly? Like, you know, you said it's, you know, the corporations want more diversity. They want to engage in that. You were pointing at the community that needs to kind of grow up and embrace women, women or female gamers in the way that they should. But, you know, the, and, I, and I agree with you, but I just wonder how that happens. And how that will happen? Call them out. Yeah. Call them out. Call the people I who guess. aren't acting the way they should be out. Because here's the thing. I I mean, I read this. Yeah, you can call them out and they may not be able to change. But it's all a matter of not sitting idly by and accepting it. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a lot nicer than canceling them. Because call-out culture is basically just giving them a chance to be better. Um, and it's not so much just oh, you're being a perv or you're being this so don't ever blah, blah, blah. You could, and, and it's not so much as being too submissive and like being too kind. Oh, please don't do that. But it's just about really um, just standing your ground and knowing your worth and knowing your values and sticking to that. I mean, that's for me. How about you, Sadie? <sighs> um, well... I don't know. I mean, like, I guess um, maybe if there was a little bit more exposure for girl gamers or I love your glasses um, who are, you know, just that because uh, like we touched upon earlier, since there's like a lot of guys on the platform and a lot of guys who like objectify women, a lot of the women who are very successful on the site are girls who are, you know, more flaunting with their appearance and stuff like that. And while I do absolutely not have anything against it, I think we would benefit from more girls being, uh, you know, put on a, you know, like pedestal, I guess, that are just normal ass girls who enjoy gaming. And maybe if Mm. a lot of people would see that, then they would realize that we're actually, that we exist. (laughs) And um, Mm -hmm. yeah, I think other than that, it's just kind of what Sarah said. So Basically, just if more people would, you know, speak out about, hey, that's not cool what you're saying right now. You're being an incel. Stop it. Then, you know, maybe it would become uncool and less people would behave that way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's a good point about calling that the mm-hmm. incel culture. Everything's so polarized now in the last five years or something. I just wondered how that happened. Um, I, I don't I don't know Scat, Scatolite, uh, Scatolite? that's a cool name a uh, great show Gaz and Asa uh, always lots of uh, topics variety and wonderful guests it's the guests that make the show thank you so much for the five dollar super chat um, and again you guys have been and I'm not just saying this uh, you've been learning stuff I'm learning stuff Asa already knows this stuff apparently. liar <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying I'm um, a fraud um, no but yeah you guys made the show today um, and you know, there's, there's serious topics in there, but it's uh, de- delivered in a way that's fun, engaging, and and yeah, something that needs to be said. Um, I'm really, really uh, happy the way it turned out. Um, so let's just go back to the gaming sp- sphere of things. Now that we've established that all men suck, no, no you didn't say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like, is it over? I don't want to leave. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. uh, but it's, it's not over yet. Um, I was going to ask you the future of gaming, bring it back to gaming itself. Um, yes. What 
what are you looking forward to? What are you looking? For? Okay, let's just kind of mix the two up: future and games, uh, and you know your role. What do you want as content creator, Sarah? What do you want? Where do you see yourself in the future? What do you want for your channel? What is your aim? Game on Daily's aim is global domination. By the way, and we will take good on one, good one. Yeah. I was going to say yeah, that. It's a good one. <laughs> right oh, after just just i'm on. gonna sorry sarah i'm gonna really quickly just because guys happens to have said that right after tony has called us pinky in the brain and then guys are sitting there <laughs> world domination <laughs> Love it, tony. Uh, so his brain gases pinky interesting i'm learning so much about you they're having a party downstairs no it's not it's all our roommates all covid friendly it's not we're not breaking oh that's good that's good, that's good. carry on sarah um, i guess for me would just be i i think it's healthy to have goals um and in the next five years i would want to have at least a hundred thousand subscribers i guess and to just be known as the first philippine or not so much just the first but a filipina streamer who does mostly adventure stories so and who knows her stuff I mean, it's 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 all it's all very. I don't know. I don't know what I want. To do. <laughs> I don't know what I want. How about you, Seti? You go first. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you touched upon something that's kind of interesting to me as well because, uh, well, I'm Middle Eastern, uh, ethnically, and I think there are little there's little representation for us uh, beyond thinking oh we're all these conservative religious people which we aren't um which is not a bad thing but we aren't all that and i think there's like very little representation and the little representation that is there might not be you know super positive sniper wolf and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo you sniper on live stream <laughs> right. no i I, mean, I she's hot but like yeah it's not a lot of people don't like her um so i guess in that aspect i i would also wish to you know be someone out there who can just be like a normal ass person on the internet and for people to see for both for other people to see that you know middle eastern people can just be like normal people uh and as well as for middle eastern other middle eastern people to be like oh hey i can be a normal person because that's something i struggled with growing up i was like oh i'll never be someone because I'm just not the right ethnicity and that's like a lot of like internalized shame and stuff like that sorry for bringing the mood down <laughs> but like um i would like to, for other people i would like to be big enough for other people to see me who are maybe in my shoes and be like oh hey she's doing this i can do this too and you know that'd be super cool and for me personally as a content creator obviously i'm looking to like um Make that grow my channel, my community. <laughs> no, I'm looking to grow my channel. I want fame. No, I'm looking to grow my community. <laughs> and um, something that I personally want is I would love to actually work with a company, with a studio um, closely and something maybe like doing a voice acting role or um, oh, yeah, that as well would as, be fun. yeah. Or be like a model for a character, um, kind of like the model for Dina. She's also a YouTuber. So something like that would be absolutely amazing, would be my dream. What about you, Miru? Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> I should have put more thought into it. I guess like for <laughs> me, um, because I'd love you is... said world domination in your cute voice though. You said world domination. I would love that. <laughs> 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 World domination. <laughs> oh, no, so, no. So um, I guess like, cause right now, like, yeah, I do like streaming and like making YouTube videos for fun because I really enjoy it. I have a lot of fun doing it. So, um, if I think about the future, I just hope I can make more. It's not so stupid, sorry, but it's it's really oh. genuine. Like, I, I I hope I can make more people laugh, <laughs> and I hope it's that you know that I I can like you know because sometimes. Even like for me, when I've been really sad and I don't think anything can make me happy at that moment. And then I like, I'll just like browse through like YouTube or something. And I'll watch a video from like one of my favorite like streamers or YouTubers. And then like, it makes me laugh and it makes me feel better. Um, Cause I've read comments like that before. Like, oh, I was depressed, but your video made me happy. That kind of stuff. Aww, like I really related to it before it actually happened to me. And 
you know, like it lifted up my mood. So I just want to put up like, I want to try to get better at like video editing and try to put out like better videos and just try, I guess, try to be better overall. Not just for like for others, like for myself, you know, because I do mm. want to improve in like my skills and stuff like that. <laughs> That's an amazing answer. That's um, makes me feel so stupid for saying world domination. <laughs> <laughs> it's both valid it's both valid <laughs> I've, I've just seen the weirdest thing in chat i'm not even gonna, gonna read it i've not got the full context for it and I, all my current friends and i in real life when we first started hanging out i secretly collected and tested all their urine oh yes <laughs> that's what? twitch that has Why? to be twitch oh, that yeah. has to be twitch that is twitch <laughs> to see if they had that's twitch. oh my god yeah i love twitch <laughs> I don't, I don't manage I to keep up with all the chat going so by, but that one caught my attention. Like, what? <laughs> I hope they're joking. <laughs> you actually tested their dopamine levels. My dopamine <laughs> levels are high as well, but that's just weird. Okay. No, I'm not judging you. If you seek, but no, you shouldn't secretly collect their urine samples. What the hell's wrong? No. Fine. Do it if you want to. <laughs> no. Collect that urine sample. Collect <laughs> it. <laughs> don't, do not send that. Especially Why are you not being positive? You're not supportive. Uh, because if you like to smoke, it's their dream. And then you send that out to the police, <laughs> and then boom, um, I'm not speaking for myself here. Don't worry about it. Um, um, but yeah, I have had so much fun doing this, and kind of sad that this is the end of the show because I've had so much fun. You guys have let it. Um, you girls have let it. So fuck's sake. Um, but we can be guys. It can doesn't be guys. matter. Yeah, but. I just wanted to, before we go, I really want to say thank you to everyone in chat who kept it civil. The mods, I'm sure they've been doing such a good job that uh, I haven't seen anything weird apart from the urine thing, which is kind of funny. Um, but and I thank you so much for everyone in chat. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Um, and do support these lovely ladies. Um, they are, um, you, you, you've heard them here tonight. Um, oh, and just you, that's, I think that's only the second time I was going to do, um, I was going to play a little drinking game where every time you said lovely tonight, I was going to take a shot and I thought I wouldn't survive. Oh, you'd actually, be in the hospital. <laughs> oh. not done it that much. You'd die, Asa. You'd die. I, I always say lovely. That's the thing. That's the word I always mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. I didn't say love, your lovely smile. Is that a British thing? Because I, I, British people always say lovely. Yeah, I think it's kind or of... Or is it just you? you? I'm a weird guy. It might be <laughs> me. <laughs> I didn't mean in my chubby face, um, but uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, honestly, thank you everyone for chat, uh, in the chat for joining us. You've been great. Thank you, Isla and Lupa for moderating. Please do subscribe to all of them. Before we go, let me just do some outros. Um, Sarah Carlos, where can people find you and what are you playing exactly at the moment? Okay, so right now I'm playing God of War, Resident Evil 2, and Red Dead Redemption. So you guys can find me over at my Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Sarah Carlos. My Instagram is at carlos.sarah. And my Twitter is at when I say Sarah. Also, I have a website, sarahstreams.com and sarahcarlos.com. Also on YouTube, I'm Sarah Carlos. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I, Isla's uh, really uh, you know, handily put, uh, posted that in chat. So hit Anderson in the description below. Please make sure you check it out. Uh, Miru, Miru, sorry, Miru, I can't speak. In, I say your name right at the end of the chat. <laughs> Miru, <laughs> where can people find you? You've been absolutely lovely. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, oh, thank you for inviting me. Thank you no, so much. No, the yeah, it's just Mirror Buns for everything. So it's like twitch.tv slash Mirror Buns. And then it's the same for like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. It's uh, Mirror Buns for all of them. Oh, perfect. Do make sure you do this in the description again. Uh, Mirror's content is brilliant. Um, and yeah, I'm really glad to have you on. Last but certainly not least is Sedi Toe. Get it right. Um, Sedi, you, I think you, I'm going to clip a lot of what you've said. It's, uh, it needs to kind of go. <laughs> all of you, all three of you actually kind of tag team this really well um thank you again and where can people find you uh so i'm mainly on twitch uh you may find me uh it's just sedito s-e-d-y-t-o on twitch mm -hmm. and uh i do a little bit of youtube as well not as often not as seriously but i'm also sedito on there i'm also sedito on twitter and uh, very recently, I made an Instagram because I felt pressured to do it. There, I'm Sedito underscore official. Someone took my name already. Um, and is there anything else? No, I think that's it. 
And sorry, um, I did ask uh, Mira need to go back to that as well. But what what game are what games are you playing steady at the moment? Me or um, yeah, you sorry me. Uh, well, right now I'm playing lots of Genshin Impact, but I love all sorts of horror games. I love Souls games. Playing a lot of Monster Hunter stuff, um, RPG stuff, literally everything. I'm a variety streamer, so yeah. That's cool. And yeah. <laughs> I would usually say I'm a variety streamer, but as of lately, I've only been playing Final Fantasy XIV. So if you're into that, great. If you're not, maybe I don't know when I'll stop being addicted. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still go <laughs> check her out. I already follow Just you girls. Do you. you do you. Hey, so I'll give you an outro and stuff because you have it reprimanded if you're not doing one. Where can people find you? Oh, you know, I'm Acer underscore Game on Daily on every platform around um, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, I don't know, all the other places where people go. Um, and I'm playing, like I said earlier, the waiting game for all the new hardware coming out and, uh, and a whole lot of Fire Emblem, about 70 hours into Fire Emblem. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Which Fire Emblem game? The um, Three Houses. Like three Houses. Three Houses! Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> no, that was good. I've not played those games. You guys all suck. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm more of a multiplayer guy, so I feel like I'm just gonna stop digging the hole for myself as a fake gamer that I am. Um, again, <laughs> thank you everyone for for the chat. Thank, thank you so much, Kane. One another shout out to my boy Kane. Um, he's working hard on our next video, and I know he hasn't slept, so please get some rest. Everyone else. Thank you so much for joining guests. It has been an absolute pleasure. All the best. Take care. And here's a montage, maybe. Bob. Oh, yes. Some of Kane's previous work coming right up. Let's go. Thank you.